Yo, what is good, John? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys, J.I. Squad. Now, as you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail, today's video, we're doing the five things that I hate about my 2021 Camaro SS 1LE. Yes, it's only going to be five. I know y'all seen the five things I love about my Camaro SS 1LE, which really turned into like 10 because there's so many things that I love about this car. Um, but this video is really going to be five because it's not that many things that I don't like about this car, but there are some things that I don't like about this car. So let's get straight into it. Yo, hold on. Hold that thought, J.I. Squad. Before we get into this video, I got something that I got to tell y'all and it's really important and it's going to go by real quick. If you guys have been up to date with all of the videos, I'm not sure if this ad has been put in a video before this but if not I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the ad right now so basically right here on the screen you're gonna see a flyer for the first ever J.I. Wings and Cars event this is a monthly event that we're trying to put on once a month every single month either every Friday um, hopefully it's always gonna be on a Friday it all depends on you know what I'm saying the restaurant and the weather and stuff like that so the first of every month I will be dropping the flyer letting you guys know what date and what time to pull up but as you guys can see on the flyer for this month's um well next next month's meet the first ever meet is gonna happen February 18th 2022 my 23rd birthday we are having the first ever J.I. Wings and Cars event, man. If you guys are in the Houston area or the areas around Houston and you can make it to the event, trust me, you're gonna wanna pull up, especially this one, because since this is the first ever event, everybody who pulls up before 8.30 gets two free slices of pizza on the kid. You dig what I'm saying? And then on top of that, we're also partnered with Sippy Paw, other known as Sicily's Pizza and basically we have a J.I. special which comes with six jumbo wings, two one foot pizza rolls and a drink all for 15 bucks. You can't beat it man. You can't beat it. So with that being said, if you guys are in the area February 18th, 7 o'clock to 10 p.m. pull up come tap in come see your boy also i'm revealing the wheels for vader so you're not gonna want to miss it if you want to see it live in action want to walk around vader maybe even sit in them shout your stuff out on the vlog if you can get um to me while i got the camera going pull up bro i'm telling you just just pull up you're not gonna regret it i promise it's the first of many 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 events so y'all stay tuned i'm also gonna have merch there y'all just be ready man enjoy the video All right, y'all, coming in hot at number one. Now, these things, honestly, are really type, like, petty things I can't even cap. It's not, like, deal breakers for me. It's just I'm kind of upset. And then some of them are really specific to my car, so you don't have to worry about them with your car, you know what I'm saying? This is just literally about my car. So coming in hot at number one is going to have to be the fact that the dealership drilled holes in my bumper, bro. I just, I hate that. I went ahead and I plugged them with like some plastic pins and everything, but like still, I hate that there's holes in my bumpers. I hate that they did that. Um, you know, they say that you gotta do it because in Texas, you gotta have a front plate. Um, and some of the, you know, states that you guys are in, uh, it's a little different for y'all. Some of y'all don't have to have front plates. Some of y'all do, like I do, but yeah, man, they were like, it's illegal for them to take off the front plate bracket. They can't sell the car like that. so whatever i ended up taking it off anyway um so then going into number two it's gonna be y'all can see the one le badges on it now you know what i'm saying but before the only badging that this car has to symbolize that it's a one le is on the calipers on the front and on the rear calipers it says one le but that's literally it the only other way to know that this car is a one le is by the matte black or satin black hood wrap the satin black uh front spoiler the satin black wrapped mirror covers the brakes like i said and then the satin black uh wing wicker bill whatever you want to call it 
than the satin black diffuser. Those are the only ways you would know that this car is a 1LE. But if you're a regular person, not necessarily a car person, how would you know that it's a 1LE? You know what I'm saying? So I went ahead and I put the 1LE badges on the car. I think that they're nice. It's a nice subtle touch. I like that the one is red on there. So it does look really good. It goes with the calipers really, really well. And you guys know red is my favorite color. So that's number two. Now, number three actually goes to the inside of the car. So let's go ahead and hop in there. For number three, starting off is going to be the steering wheel. Now, when you get the 1LE, you get the Alcantara wrapped steering wheel. And don't get me wrong, it's really nice. You know what I'm saying? It's suede. It's comfortable. It feels different. You know, it grips and it goes well with the seats. You know what I'm saying? Because the seats have these suede slash Alcantara inserts in them. Um, but, and it's also on the shifter, but I don't like it because of the fact that when it wears, it just, it wears really ugly. It looks really tacky when it wears, I guess the previous owner had like sweaty hands or something. I don't know. So my steering wheel is kind of like, it's just, it is wearing kind of weird. It feel, it still feels good. Don't get me wrong. It still does its job, but it's wearing a little weird. I can't lie. Okay. So then going into the next thing. It's going to actually have to be, so that was number three. So number four is going to be, again, specific to just my car. My car, as you guys can see, has probably seen, oh, no, sir, I don't need any copyrights, young boy. You already got money, chill out. Anyway, as you guys can see and have probably seen in previous videos, my car has a check engine light. I've touched on this once before. Um, basically, the car has aftermarket cats. It has Cook's cats, um, so the car is not you know, tuned, it thinks that it doesn't have catalytic converters because they're not the stock cats. So with that being said, I can't remote start my car. I also, it's just an eyesore, man. I hate having lights on the dash, man. So don't worry, a tune is coming soon. We're gonna get that taken care of. But now off to the last and final thing, man. It's gonna have to be the radio and not even necessarily the infotainment center at all. It's just the fact that like whenever I'm in the car and I'm trying to record a story for like Instagram or Snapchat, it like makes it sound like I'm underwater or something like I don't like, you know, what I'm saying like you can't understand anything I'm saying. You can't hear the music. It sounds far as heck. It sounds like the microphone is like covered or something like that. And I was told it's because the car is like going in between Apple Play and the USB speakers or something like that. And it's just tripping out. But I don't know. Everybody who has Apple CarPlay tells me they have the same problem. So I know it's not just my car, but it's just like, man, damn. I know that, you know, they don't want you to be on your phone while you're driving. But like, dang, y'all gonna do us like that? We can't even get the music to match? Like, come on now, folk. But yeah, man, with all that being said, that's actually gonna do it for this video. I told y'all it's only five things that I don't like about my car. Like, legitimately, only five things. So with that being said, y'all, if you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications, drop a comment in the comment section down below. If you know how to fix that microphone thing, like number five, what I didn't like, Please drop it down in the comment section down below or DM me on Instagram. Let me know what you guys did to fix yours. But yeah, man, without further ado, that's going to wrap it up for this one. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.